Hey YouTube, so today we're going to do a tutorial. It's one of my original tricks that I made around 20 years ago, back in like 2001-2002. The beauty of it is you can actually do it on a responsive yo-yo. Today I am using a Magic Yo-Yo K1. I've used this for a couple months already, so the responsiveness isn't exactly as responsive, so sometimes I have to make it come back with a bind. So this is a pretty simple trick, and what I really like about it is it kind of caters to my style. I kind of like to do the disappearing stuff and kind of like a misdirection. And in this case, this is where the trick, never really named it, but kind of called it like vanishing strings. So the good thing about this trick is that it's very easy to learn. The only two things you need to be able to do is a one and a half mount and a double or nothing. If you're familiar with that, then this trick should be really simple. It looks like this. So you want to start with a one and a half mount. So then you want to swing the yo-yo over to your non-throwing hand. And then you want to be able to dismount. And then what you're going to do is, from your non-throwing hand, you're going to swing back towards your throwing hand. this so this is kind of like the double or nothing because your fingers are kind of locked in for that distance and then you're going to land to the most front string and then all you need to do is let go of the string from your right hand and it disappears and you return back to a trapeze you can release all the string all at once and it just disappears or what you might see in some of my videos is I'll release it one at a time. Like I said, it's a very simple trick. I usually connect this trick with other tricks either before or after. So here's another view of the trick. Okay, and here's the trick at a different angle, and then uh, this is the two different versions of me releasing the strings. So you'll start off with a one and a half mount, and then you want to swing it from your throw hand into your non-throw hand, and then you want to dismount it, so then you'll swing it back to your throw hand, and then you'll swing it back around, kind of like a double or nothing, and you'll land at the very front string. And then you just release all the strings from your throw hand. And that is it. Okay, and that's the trick. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you at the next video.